Hey, it's Tyler Casey. Today I'm going to be going over the top three beginner Premiere Pro transitions. Let's get it. Base out, Bruce. Before we get cutting, it's really important to make sure that you're making an edit for a reason if you're cutting on the beat or if you're cutting for story. The first transition I like to call is the speed up. So all we have to do is stagger these two clips right here. Let's make a cut a few frames in, drag it out. We're going to switch over to this tool right here. Or just press R on your keyboard and stretch it that way. Make a similar cut on the top clip and then you can just stretch it as far as you want. Zoom it out and then uh, speed it up and then we play it through and whoa, look at that. They zoom in right next to each other. Speed's nice up. So you can play with this a lot. If you want a little bit more to happen, you can make the clip longer and then speed it up again. Or you can even, let's delete these. Let's say we're back where we started. We can make the clip a little, speed up a lot longer. Then look at this. Let me make a similar cut. You can get an effect like this. It's not as clean and quick, but there's different ways to play with it. You can you can kind of make it your own, and it depends on what you're editing and the pace of it. Let's move on to the next effect. The next effect I like to call is the beginner zoom. So all you really have to do to do this effect is basically just click the clip, go to the very last frame in between clips, you're going to type in 150 after you turn on the keyframes. You're going to back up a couple frames. Let's do three on the arrow keys. And we're going to reset. Boom. You're going to come here to the last frame on that. Make sure this is blue and checked. Type in 150. Move forward a couple free keyframes. And then look. All we do is reset it and it creates another keyframe. Now that we arrow through this, we see a simple zoom. And wham. So I call it the beginner zoom. You can really uh, fine tune this and play with the timing of it. Check it out. Let's zoom in. Look at that. It's a little bit punchier now. What you can also do is you can throw in a 125 right there and reset it real fast. And then do the same thing right there, 125, and then reset it the next keyframe. What this does is makes it a little bit more edgier. Check it out. Boom, boom, boom. So you can play with that, and you can play with the different scales. Let's move on to the last transition, which I like to call the flash. Flash is really simple. All you have to do is go to your effects, type in levels, drag it onto both clips. Go ahead and click right here on white input level. You're going to keyframe it at the very last frame. You're going to flash it up. I clicked on the wrong clip here. So you're just going to, on white input level, you're going to keyframe it on the very last frame. You're going to flash it, move backwards. We're going to undo it. So we're going from normal to light. And on levels, we already have levels on there. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go light to regular. Now we watch that. Awesome. Now just like any of the other effects, we can stagger it a little bit. So let's say we don't go as bright. We go there. We come back. And then we go back to normal. Just like this. So those are the three beginner effects. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and combine all these effects and make a bunch of different transitions. I think these are the best transitions to use when starting off making music videos because you can build on them and you can modify them as many ways as you want. So get out there and combine all these effects and show me what you guys can do. Go ahead and comment down below if you guys have any questions. Make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already and I appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Oh, 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 oh,